Hey everybody, uh, OCD Mikey, Hi-Fi Guy here, and I am ready to show you the build of Power Strip and what that's all about. This is the Vera Star Power Strip, so this is one that I've designed and um, had many made the parts, and I we do the final assembly here. I'm going to be doing one here and show you how it's done. Take a peek. Okay, so first off, there's a little dust on here, but um, first off, this is the chassis, the main chassis, okay? So what I did was, I had I, I designed it like a pyramid, and the reason like that, the reason for that is if you put a heavy um, cord up in here and it leans off to the side, and it tips over all the time. So by making this thing a pyramid shape, uh, it is it, it won't tip over. It's more sure-footed. This is more solid on the ground. I have this plug at an angle, which means you don't have to pick it up. You can plug into it from standing above it and put your power cord, like say this one right here, you can just plug it from standing, from standing up and just plug right in like that and then lift it off. That way, um, normally, you'd have to come down, you'd have to hold this with one hand, pull it out or push it in. So it's kind of like, um, that's why I did it in this way. I thought it's better to do it in a, in a pyramid design. Now, if you look at this, what happens is I have this made and in in, in drawn into three-dimensional CAD drawing. Um, I sketch it out and then I give it to somebody that knows CAD. <clears throat> they put they put it into machine language, which means they get, they get all these little cues, like these little cuts and things which make the bending able but look you'll see how well this is done okay so a cheap uh, a piece of, of, of bent sheet metal this would just be folded and you'd see a fold well I don't like things like that so I go the extra step and I have it, it it's it's they weld it and they fill it and then they sand it down and they make it nice so there's a perfect smooth corner with no seam or no weld or no bend you don't see anything when this thing when the lid goes on it's just clean there's no ugly fold things okay then this is the logo okay for the Vera Star logo the logo I have put on this is actually metal three metal pieces it's drilled in um, and these are, are screws so it's not printed on or silk screened or whatever it's actually it's a beveled aluminum that's hard anodized and then it's screwed on there and, and, and so that's what makes the logo. I think that's a little higher quality than, than you know, look and feel than a um, silk screen print, which is a lot of people do, or, um, you know, laser etch or something like that. This is much better. It's cooler. Um, on the bottom, okay, we've got a, we've got, you can either put the rubber feet, which would be for like hardwood floors or whatever. And then I also have in the, in, along with this comes uh, some spike feet so that you can you can uh, screw those into there and then and then the spikes will hold it into carpet and couple the thing to the floor um, so that's pretty sweet um, let's see um, also whoop, nope, don't want to zoom in okay so that is this part this is the bottom half now what I will do before um, this is complete is inside here will be lined with copper and um, an anti-vibration sheet so it's like copper let's see if I got some over here Now, nope, I'm looking around, I don't have any, okay. So anyways, it sticks in here, and, uh, and, and, and so it's a copper that wraps around inside. Not only does it damp vibration, but it acts as a shield, and then that copper is um, grounded to, this, uh, to the chassis, and then it, it, it actually ends up grounding onto this, which is the lid, and I put a ground piece here. Uh, this is a lug, and then you can ground your equipment to this as well, um, which gives you the, another point to ground to. Um, you see those ground boxes and things, everybody's got them, uh, different companies, and this allows for it to happen right at the power strip. You just ground, it's an extra ground for um, any of your chassis, so you can run it down there. Um, hang on a second. Gotta go over here to uh, this and not uh, uh, turn this down. Where is it level? Okay. This isn't bugging me. Okay. Um, okay, so got uh, okay so we're back here okay so that's the extra ground now as you can see in here uh, these are Furitech GTX NC at GTX D NCF okay so GTX is their top of the line okay by Furitech uh, this is made in Japan um, and NCF means nano crystal um, formula 
or something like that. Um, and it's it's uh, what it means is that this plastic, okay, this polymer that is used for the body the, uh, of this piece, is mixed with nanoparticles of uh, ceramic and of carbon, and it makes this pervy impervious to. Well, it makes it better with vibration. It makes it, uh, it, it helps to filter stray RF. Um, it's just a, it's, it's a, it's a highfalutin design. Um, I think these things, these things retail for like $200 a piece. They're, they're something obnoxious. Um, this is a stainless steel screw. We use those in there. I put them because they are non-magnetic. They're mildly magnetic, okay? It's not like a regular old black oxide steel screw which would be highly magnetic and highly ferrous these are just hardly at all and there's enough that they're called non-magnetic if you have a stainless steel refrigerator you'll know no magnets don't stick to it you know so um, anytime you have steel around electrical it uh, it turns magnetic okay this will magnetize this and then it pulls because it's magnetic it can it, it, it has a, a field and that field will interfere uh, with this ground or it can inter it can do a lot of things so to eliminate that I simply just use stainless steel that's why they're not the same color you can also see now how, how, how this has been machined um, uh, right here is uh, um, countersunk so when the screws come into the top to to uh, to hold that down they'll be countersunk and so it'll be nice and smooth here again you can see the gtx uh ncfd um they got their little stamps of uh whatever meaning compliance or something uh anyways uh we'll look a little see if i have any other details to show you i'll show you that corner now that i've got the close-up um okay you see that like look at that man i mean that is nice normally that would be a fold edge and then you'd see like a, a a line there and a folded piece but this has been welded and sealed or i mean and sanded so that's what the machining looks like on, on the things that i have built i that's like how i pay attention to stuff um and hopefully the people that buy my products appreciate that kind of thing too because i just i don't overlook a damn thing okay here's the here's how the logo is put on you can see right there okay so Next is uh, the the um, the back of these. Okay, so here's the strip. The top we have um, is is you know got the three duplex receptacles. And as you flip it upside down, we've got uh, we've got these three in a row. Okay, now normally what you would see this is the ground. We have a home run for every ground. It goes back to the the ground here. And then furthermore, we will have this ground that will tie in over to here as well. Uh, and, and it will also tie into the Faraday shield that goes inside here, which is this copper uh, sleeve, essentially, with uh, vibration damping on it. Now, once in here, you'll see normally um, the way a power strip would work is it would jump from here to there, from here to there, to there, and then they, they, they daisy chain, it's called, one to the other to the other. Well, when you daisy chain something like that, if you've got an amp uh, here, okay, and, 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 and it's pulling current, it's gonna starve its next one and its next one. This one out here, if especially if you have, let's say you have two amp here and an amp here, and then you've got like a, a DAC here or something. I mean, uh, it, imagine you have an amp here, you would starve this third amp for current because these two guys are hogging it all. Since it goes one to the other to the other, they all depend on one another not to be hogging the, the current uh, to let more through, if you see what I mean. Um, so the way around that is you run home runs. It's just like when they say um, have a dedicated circuit at home. It's the same way having a dedicated circuit, basically, or a dedicated run um, uh, for for the um, each uh, receptacle. So each receptacle is going to have power that goes to here, to here, to here. Now, not only am I going to have power that goes to just one of these, because if you look close, you'll see that there is a strap that um, goes between the two. Hang on, I'm grabbing a tool here that I can use. A, don't worry, it's probably a dentist tool. Um, okay, so um, see this back here, that back piece, that back strap actually connects the two screws. So you can either put it in the hole uh, here or you can put it down here or around the screw. Uh, but the idea is that you can put just the, the power feed can be here or here, it doesn't matter. And, and it will it will power both receptacles, okay? 
many people do that. I don't. I bring power to here and to here. It's kind of silly um, because it's overdone, but I don't think so. I think if this socket, you know, there's dual sockets in here. If this socket is pulling more than that, you know, they each need their own feed is, is, is the way I look at this thing. Uh, otherwise, they're going to interfere with one another. And um, only the best power strips are wired this way. Um, so what I, and, and instead of using wire as, you know, I can't use normal wire, can I, I use pure silver. This is like, this is bus bar, pure silver. Uh, and it is, uh, it will go up into, into here for where it gets its feed. And then it will go down into this hole. Where am I? Okay. Right here. And then I will go, then I will come from the feed to here to this hole so I'll have a direct feed back up to the to the IEC it'll come straight from there and go to the two middle the two middle ones these two okay and then this one and this one are going to be those are balance points okay so this is another additional thing that I do that's kind of crazy only seen in the best builds of power strips is you go from here and you jump over to this next guy and then I, I get the power here again for home run power here home run um, and then this one feeds over to the next guy and then power home run power home run then this one this one comes all the way back down here and, 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 and feeds to this one so what we're talking about there is complete equilibrium there is no possible way at all for one of these to get more current than the other because the way I've wired it it may it, they're gonna be intrinsically balanced no matter what they're all going to have the same amount of current carrying capability because of how they're being fed. Okay. And again, it's all these pieces that are all fine silver. They're not uh, three nines. They're four nines purity. That is hard to get. And, um, but that's, it, they, it sounds the best. So these will be polished. I'll hand polish them and then they go into place inside here. And then we've got a fully wired uh, top of the line. AC power block including all GTXD uh, sockets and here you go here's the um, the in the inlet is also the NCF uh, line and uh, so you can see it's all very high quality okay so that is the Vera Star AC power block and uh, how she is made and that is uh, you won't see many power strips built to that level um, furthermore I um, when this is done, okay, once I've got all the wiring done, then on the backs of these, I have some polymer that is something that I've invented that is a, uh, it is an epoxy that's mixed with five different minerals from the earth that uh, help to filter RF frequency and um, absorb electromagnetic frequency. And so they go into the slurry or this mix, and then I pour them onto the backs here, and they cover the, the uh, each uh, receptacle is covered with this RF filtration and then up here as well and so you get passive filtration nothing in the line but the the um, high frequency and everything is they're, they're filtered and and cleaned up so it cleans up the AC but it does it in a passive manner using earth elements rather than um, in an aggressive manner where you run it through capacitors or whatever you do that can potentially clamp dynamics can potentially roll off highs I don't want to uh, do any of that I'm all about very open uh, an airy and uh, detailed presentation uh, and so you'll hear that and once once the reference rig is going which you've heard a little sample of it you'll see that 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 is pretty much how I like set my sound is to be um, very very um, not there just very clear and just like a window to the music the idea is to not hear any of the gear uh, okay so that is that just wanted to show you really quick uh, a little production piece and uh, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you Okay, what I forgot to do is to explain why those parts are good for the power strip and how that works. Well, they're very robust uh, connectors, connections, okay, inside those receptacles. They're made with a pure copper base metal. Most all of those are made with brass. So these are made with pure copper and then they're coated with rhodium uh, and plated. And just by having that better contact surface area, you will get a better sonic simply from changing your receptacles at the wall. 
um, they sound better because there's less resistance and it just works. So that's why these things sound better. And then you add to that the RF noise uh, elimination and you get a very, very quiet AC line. So it is um, to your advantage to replace your wall receptacles because those things are loose and chintzy and cheap and they don't even hold the plug very well and they sound horrible. You can get much less expensive ones. Just by buying the hospital grade piece, uh, they're easy to find. They're at the supply store. Hospital grade holds much better, better contact, better sonic, uh, and then you can wire them like I wire, but just use regular Romex or whatever you want, and you're still going to get 